Hey guys, what's up? Tony here, and I'm gonna do some more streaming on Soma. So, if I remember correctly, we're just over here. Uh, looked at a video of that woman's, I think, husband. So now, let's go over here and figure some, figure out what's going on. Forgot the controls already. Oh, there's a person there. Oh, jeez. Hey, are you... Don't hurt me. Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Uh... I don't want to touch anything. I'm afraid I'll kill her. But it looks like this might be the only way. Uh... Into. Yeah, no, that's, that that's hooked into her. Wait. <laughs> no. I can go this way and maybe uh. Oh wait No So I have to do it That's the only way I can get power Feel really bad for her. No! Shit, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. I don't know if I want to do this. No. No, never mind. I, yeah, that looks like I, I did something. And she's still alive. Oh, 
Oh. Okay then. So I'm just gonna leave her, huh? Adaptable pipes. That's the only thing crossed on. Alright. Where are we going? Shuttle J6. Activated. Warning. Unreliable power. Proceed with caution. Anything else? Ooh. What is she saying? You, oh, you are here. I think I was supposed to go to Theta. I remember right. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station stands multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Theta. Theta is considered the heart of Pathos 2. It houses station administration, medical facilities, and the payload assembly crew, prepping and programming satellites before they are shipped off to Phi for launch. Water. This guy just got. The reason why he's doing this is because he crashed. Actual phone call. Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Wow, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? So I was wrong. So it was the first spot, which I guess it makes sense. Ooh, that 
that's like, yeah, one of those things that can heal you. seeps through. Best thing to do is just to follow the light. Actually, I don't know. The light could be a bad thing in here. Of course, this this has this um Bioshock feel, you know, to it. Bioshock 1, not Bioshock 2. That's a sub. Oh, here we go. that they can't really follow you. Those big ones, they look like they can just run after you for a long time. What's over here? like a little mini sub. Why are you even getting me? Unable to activate. Escape vessel. Protocol missing. Ooh. Might have to come back to this later. I remember that, so it's like a little mini 
escape, so I'll probably just take you to the surface. This must be Lamp. Or Catherine. Catherine? Be quiet! Don't look at it! What the hell? I guess she's gonna be a robot. There you are, upright and everything. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is. everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty... Could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. The project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Where's the chip? Now, terminal 27 activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connected. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. Well, where's the chip? Damn it, lady.
Ah. Ah, there we are. What's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then, suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, oh, all right, file it. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks, I'll unlock the door for you. Oh, Kath, I mean, I don't think you guys are the what best What was I friendly. said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I... Just went in for a brain scan, and suddenly, here I am. That doesn't make any sense. Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. So what I'm guessing is that we're not looking at the original here. We're the scanner. Maybe he's like a new type of machine that looks human? Or more human? I mean, he hasn't really... I don't... Every time I see it... Actually, I'm gonna keep that open. Every time I see, every time I see a uh, a mirror, it looks like it's broken. So. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. You got it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Chris, I stayed up all night. Seemed like a waste of sleep. I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you were able to go on. If it's a life worth living. Looks like the shit's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. There's really no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Afraid so. You were all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Oh, it's nice to get more dialogue from another character. And how can you say that? Simon, I think it's back. Be careful. You don't know if you can take another hit. before. That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch.
the tower and the dock and the welcome center. What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's... It's so strange. Check the computer in the other room. Check the computer? Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Uh, I went around that whole thing. Catherine? What? Nothing. Never mind. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do, am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about... The Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem. How to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing. And hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not gonna be easy. What are your thoughts on the Ark project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform. Which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny. But a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Oops. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Not anymore. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel normal. I feel integrated. A better vision of myself. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside of another body. I feel fake. No. Oh. I'm gonna go with I feel normal. I think maybe I'm wondering if there's separate endings and this is going to determine what that ending is. I don't know. There's no way he's lived out, you know, close to a hundred years. He has to be a scan of what it is and or what 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 he was. I'm just gonna say I feel alien. I feel like I'm a visitor inside another body. How would you describe your mental condition? <laughs> I feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I feel altered and change in character. I must say I feel disconnected. How would you describe your senses? I just expect a normal. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked as if my senses are numb. I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses. I would say I feel more sensitive and aware of my surroundings. No, maybe blocked. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it 
Something's wrong. It's disconnecting. Everything feels constructive. Depressing. I can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. I say it's kind of, it's kind of depressing. I mean, what if he is the only one left of what he is? Maybe he's like a new experiment where it's like half human, half robot. You know, doing like that whole uh, Terminator thing. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly hu human? Do I feel fine somewhat? I feel like I lost myself. Yes, I more my previous existence. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. I agree with that. How do you perceive your new existence? Is it a direct uh, continuation of my previous life, previous self? Like a new chapter in my life is like being born all over again, a complete do-over. It's something completely different. It has nothing to do with my previous self. I would say it's, it's more a direct continuation of my previous self. I agree with that. I mean, you're going to experience things differently, of course, but you're still your previous self in a way. I don't know. I'm going on with number one. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Yes, just as my previous life. Yes. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No, maybe. I don't need to think about it. No. Unless you had to. I mean, existing is kind of nice. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. So still on in Earth. Going even closer. the farthest. Jeez, it's a really good scanner. I figured it would have to be all the way. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Go to the back. I'll okay. take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon.
Alright guys, I'm going to end this part of the walkthrough right here. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, see you later.